patient arriving for an unpredictable eye exam. Very good. And let's have the nurse call them on in. Very good. And oh, hello there. Pleasure to see you today. And welcome, welcome, welcome to Dream City Clinic. Hello there. I am Dr. I. Are you here for an eye exam? Perfect. Please find your seat right in front of me, okay? Good. And are you relaxed? Very good. We're going to begin this exam right now because this is quite a fast-paced eye exam, okay? Very good. So, what's your name? Okay, and do you wear glasses? Do you wear contacts? Do you feel like your vision has been changing over the past two weeks or to two months? Okay, and are you someone who can see a bit closer or a bit farther away? Which one makes it easier for you? Do you feel like you see closer easier or do you think you see farther away easier? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. So, what this exam is going to consist of is a bunch of examinations that could be a bit not as usual as protocol, but trust me, I am the best eye doctor here, so please relax. A lot of people find this to be quite soothing, so let's begin. First exam I'm going to ask you to do is, can you look at me? Good, and can you look over here for me? Good, and can you look over here for me? And can you look back at me? Very good. Now, can you look right at my eyes? What color are my eyes? Good, they are green. Very good. Can you look at the wall behind me? What color is the wall behind me? Very good. It's either purple or pink. Very good. Now, do you see this little chart that I have behind me? Good. What is on the chart? Perfect. There are letters on the chart. Very good. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to ask you to carefully let me know. Are my hands close or farther away from your eyes? This is going to be the center. Let me know. Are my hands closer now or farther away now? They are closer. Very good. Are my hands closer or farther away now? Good. They are farther away. Very good. Now I'm going to use this. It's called a pen light. I'm going to shine this right at your eyes. Okay. Are you sensitive to light? Okay. May I touch your face? Good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to carefully cover one of your eyes. I'm just going to shine a light into your eye. Okay. Very good. So do you see a light shining at your eyes? Good. Can you still see it? Good. Now, other eye, I'm going to cover one of your eyes. Let me know, do you see a light shining at your eyes? Very good. And is it quite bright? Good. And are you able to see me in full detail, or do I look a little bit like I am blurred out? A little bit blurred out. Very good. Okay, now can you look at the center? Good. And can you look up? Can you look down? Can you look back at the center? Good. Now I'm going to ask you, can you look over here? Can you look over here? using all your focus 
focus on the lights. Let me know when the lights are not in your peripheral vision and just look straight ahead at me. Don't look at the lights. Let me know in three, two, one, when they're out of your visual field. And are they out of your visual field? Good. And restarting again, let me know now. Are they out of your visual field? Good. Restarting again, let me know now. Are they out of your visual field? Good. And let me know now. When are they out of your visual field? Good. And we're going to do this a bit closer. Let me know when these lights are out of your visual field. Are they out? Good. And let me know when. Good. Let me know when. Good. Let me know when. Good. And let me know when. Good. Okay. Now let me know which light is closer to you, left or right. Which light is closest to you, the left side or the right side? Let me know in three, two, one, left. Very good. Now let me know which light is closer to you, left or right side. Let me know in three, two, one. Good. It is the right side. A bit closer now. Which one's closest to you, left or right side? Let me know in three, two, one. Good. Right side. And let me know which is closest to you now, left or right side. Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. It was the left side. I'm going to take a quick note here. Okay. And are you someone who finds the red light to be a bit more ease on the eyes or a bit more difficult to visually see? Okay, very good. Now I'm going to quickly ask you to sit still. I'm going to just take a little bit of a pressure test on your eyes, okay? And what it's going to do is going to make just a little click sound, okay? Just a little click sound. So just sit still. I'm going to test in three, two, one. Good. And that pressure is about, let's see here, we're looking at about 30 PSI. 30 PSI. Very good. Let's test the other eye now. Sit still. You're going to hear a click. Ready? Three, two, one. Very good. And it looks like the other eye is roughly at about, it looks to be about 51 PSI. So that's very good for the pressures of your eyes. Similar to a car tire, your eyes also have a type of pressure in them. We want to make sure that they're calibrated to the exact same, exact same PSI. Very good. So now what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to quickly change the light and I'm going to turn this light off. So what I'm going to quickly do is turn this light off. Very good. Can you still see me? Very so good. Let's turn the light back on now. Very good. And I'm going to change the light now back to the original. Now, can you look at me? Good. And do you know how to count? Very good. How many fingers am I holding up? Right here. How many fingers am I holding up? Five. Very good. How many fingers am I holding up? That is two. Very good. Can you look back at me? Good. We're now going to test your reading skill set. Okay. And I have a little lightsaber here, if you can see. I'm going to point at a letter, and I want you to let me know what letter I'm pointing at. Okay. So we're going to start off right here with the largest letter. This is about a meter away from you. What letter is this right here? Let me know in three, two, one. Good. That is an E. Good job. We're going to go to the third line now. Are you able to see the third line? Very good. What letter is that right there? That is an right there. That is a T. Very good. What letter is the third letter on line three? That is a Z. Very good. Can you look back at me? Good. And I'm going to put one hand in front of your eye now. It's going to make it a bit more difficult for you to read, okay? So I'm just going to cover one eye. Now, are you able to identify the second letter? The second letter in line two right there. Can you tell me what letter that is? Let me know in three, two, one. Can you see that? Not as well. Okay, well, can, that was the letter F. Very good. So it looks like when I do test your peripheral vision, you tend to focus right at the center and that your vision's focused right at the center and right behind you. It looks to be that it doesn't blur after that. That's perfect vision. Good job. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just test your eyes one more time. Looking down all the way to the 10th line. Are you able to read the line at the 10th line? Can you read that? Good. What letter is that right there? Let me know in three, two, one. That is an O. It's a bit more difficult to read, I can tell. Now I'm going to give you just a little bit of a color assessment test. Okay. So what I'm going to do with your eyes right here is I have a little eyeshadow palette. Now I'm going to point to one of the colors and I want you to identify it for me. Okay. So what color is that up here? Let me know in three, two, one. That is purple. Very good. We're going to go right down to this color right here now. What color is that? Let me know in three, two, one. That is green. Very good. Now look right up top to the top right. What color is that right there? Let me know in three, two, 
one that is yellow. Superb. You're doing fantastic. Now, let me know down here. What is this color right there? Let me know in three, two, one. That is pink. Very good. Now, we're going to go to a base color. Let me know what color that is in three, two, one. That is blue. Good. Now, can you focus on this one right here? What color is that right there? Let me know in three, two, one. That is red. Very good. So, do you have any problems with visually seeing any color? Okay, so I do. So, don't worry if you are unable to. It's just a normal question that we ask everybody. Yes. Now, I'm going to ask you to identify some shapes for us. Okay. And I have some items here. And it's either going to be a shape or an item or an object. And this can be any noun. It can be an animal. It can be a building. Just identify for me as fast as you can. Okay. Showing you the first card here. What is on this card? Let me know in three. That is a star. Good job. Going to the next one. <clears throat> so, right here on this card, we have a special item. What is this on the card? Let me know in three, two, one. That is a cake. Very good. How many candles are on the cake? Let me know in three, two, and one. That is three. Very good. Now, over here, we're going to do this one. So, we have a little bit of an item here. Let me know what these are in three, one. Good. These are letter blocks. Good. And can you read this for me? What, what letter is that? That is A. Good. What letter is that? That is C. Good. And what letter is that? That is B. Very good. And on to the last one. Let's see. What let, What is this? What What is this? Let me know in three, two, one. That is a bird. Good job. That is amazing. We're going to move on now to a bit of a mysterious item here. We have little, tiny, little chocolates. However, these chocolates are randomized with different types of animal characters, okay? I'm going to ask you to identify what you think these are, okay? So, I'm going to show you really carefully. Can you tell me what that is? Keep focus. What is that right there? Let me know in three, two, one. Perfect. That looks like a leaf. Very good. I'm going to go to this one right there. Can you let me know what that is right there? Let me know in three, two, one. Very good. That is a raccoon. That is a raccoon. Very good. And are you able to identify what this is from? Let me know in three, two, one. Perfect. This is Animal Crossing. Very good. Now, we're going to go right here. What animal is this? Let me know in three, two, one. Perfect. That is a dog. Very good. And now we're going to go right over here to this one over here. What is this? Let me know in three, two, one. Perfect. That is a heart. Very good job. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick glance very fast inside of your eyes. And what I have here is a magnifying lens. And it's going to look a little bit funny. But I promise you, this is to see what is right in your eyes, okay? And I'm going to take a quick, uh, fast analysis of the diameter and shape of your pupils and your eyes. So, it might look a little bit uh, funny, but I promise you, this is going to help take a look inside your eyes. So, I'm going to get a little bit close to you, okay? And just focus right on my eye, okay? Focus right on my eye, and I'm going to do several calculations, okay? Just look right at my eye, and I'm taking a quick look, and it looks like your diameter of your pupil seems to be about 1.74. Okay, look back at my eyes, okay? Can you look at this eye? Can you look at this eye for me? Good. And do my eyes appear to be bigger or smaller when I'm wearing the magnifying lens? Okay, they appear to be bigger. Very good. And I'm going to carefully just put one hand over your eye. I'm going to just do a quick analysis. Okay, very good. It looks like everything is going great. Good job. And for the other pupil, it looks to be that you have just a little bit of a larger pupil diameter. So we're looking about 1.43. And it also appears to be that you have just a little tiny beauty mark on the back of your eye. Yes, that is wonderful. Very good. Okay, now I'm going to ask you to carefully, can you blink for me? Good, and blink one more time. Good. Now, can you close this eye right here? Close that eye for me. Good, I'm doing a quick analysis. Just close that eye. Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you to close the other eye. Okay, very good. Looking like that is amazing. So, your eyes appear to be at 1.43, 1.54. And it looks like you are also having a very circular eye. And it appears that also your prescription is relatively the same. So, I'm going to do one last exam 
and this is with a lens set. Okay, so what these are is that these are lenses, and we're going to test to see if your prescription has changed for your glasses, and we're going to see if you are still able to visually see correctly. I'm going to use me as a base and also look at the Snellens chart. Let me know what looks better without one or with the lens too. Here is without one, two with, one without, two with, which looks better. Three, two, one, with. Okay, we're going to do the second lens now. What looks better? One without, two with, one without, two with. Let me know. Three, two, one. Okay, with. We're going to go to the third lens now. Okay, just sit still, sit still. Okay, let's see. What looks better? One without or two with. One without or two with. Let me know. In three, two, one, without. Okay, we're going to go to the fourth lens now. Okay, let's see. And we're going to do one without and two with. One without and two with. Very good. Let me know. In three, two, one, which looks better? One with. Okay, so it looks like your prescription has changed just a little bit. We're going to upgrade your prescription by 0.75. Now, just going to quickly give one last analysis. I'm going to use the lenses just to simply test your eyes. Can you see the light? Good. And can you see the light here? Good. And then taking the light back a little bit. Can you see the light here? Good. And can you see the light there? Good. Okay. Looking back up here. Can you look down here? Can you look over here? Can you look up here? Can you look over here one more time? Very good. And can you look down here one more time? And can you look over here? Very good. So it looks like your prescription has just changed by 0.75. and we will give you a new set of frames. So it'll be in something like this. These are going to be tester frames and then you will be able to choose your own frame separate from that once we give you your final prescription for the glasses. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for coming on by again. Again, I am Dr. I. Thank you so much for coming to the exam. Again, can you look over here for me? Good, can you look over here for me? You just seem to be a little bit tired. If you want to, you can close your eyes and we can reset your eyes for another exam if you'd like. Okay, anyways, have a good night. Uh, we will test your eyes once more when you come back for your other exam in about six months, okay? So just get the prescription and you'll be good.